Sometimes we have a misconception with jazz. It's like, great, you know, just go play whatever. You know, or, or you know, play it how you feel. And that, sometimes that's really fun to do also. But the, these three tunes that we played were, were composed by, by people. We have a, a kind of a meter that we're working from, a groove that we're working from. And we have a beginning and an ending melody. You're building a swing, swing feel. Then I'm going to add two notes, three notes, four notes, five notes, OK? Two One thing that you might want to include is just taking a different key and learning, you know, the blues. And then it, it's something that I used to do with my jazz ensemble while I was teaching in Rochester, New York. One week we'll take one key, we'll learn one melody, and then have some people improvising. Then the next week we'll change the key. And in one year we play blues in all keys. Jazz music is a, it's an oral tradition. You have to go back to the beginning of this music and listen and play with your records, okay? All the time. I started by going and listening to Sonny Rollins. I didn't know anything about, you know, the, the theory or anything like that, but just to get the right feel, the sound. You have an incredible sound. What are you listening to, Dexter Gordon? Yeah! yeah. <laughs>